another round of reviews. It must be getting near Christmas. Cause I'm getting gifts! All the way from Germany. It's a major box of snacks. My good friend Alan, living in Germany, picked up all the latest greatest of his favorites, put it in a box, and shipped it over to me. How cool is that? Alan is actually Bosnian, who lives in Germany. Before we get into all the German reviews, he packed some things from his home country, Bosnia. And when Alan tells you something is good, you trust him. He knows a little thing about snacks. So let's pull out the Bosnian items and check them out. So we got a lot to go through, so it's going to be pretty quick time. A lot of similar brands. Some that I'm not entirely sure is actually Bosnian. Can't remember if Jaffa is actually Bosnian or not. So if it's not, I apologize for that. But the rest of the snacks definitely are Bosnian. We got to move pretty quick and where to start. Just because I'm not sure if they're actually Bosnian, let's start with the Jaffa cakes. Let's start with this one. The Jaffa Kolachi, maybe it's called? I've had Jaffa cakes before, but this seems like a puffed up, bigger version. Let's check it out. Holy Jaffa on steroids. Look at the size of this thing. It smells like a traditional Jaffa, but I think it's just like stacked up really high. Let's just hope it has a lot of that orange filling. I really hope it's packing in that filling. This is one of those underrated cookies. I just always found they hit the spot. Citrus and chocolate is just a great combination. Let's do it. Mmm. Not like the traditional Yaffa at all. Well, it does have a similar texture. This is a lot more like a cake, like I said. The filling is packing, but surprisingly, it tastes very similar. It's like the wagon wheel of Yaffa cakes. It's Yaffa good. I love that filling. Mmm, definitely a solid one. Strong 8 out of 10 for me. So let's mellow out with the mallow. Looking like a classic. All sorts of brands make these. In Canada, we had the Whip It and the Viva Puff. The last one I tried was a Milka. It wasn't like a tonics or let's say a whippet here in Canada. It had a very different mallow. Soft biscuit, marshmallow inside. Let's do it. There's just something about these that are so satisfying. The soft bottom, the marshmallow, the chocolate. I was just always a sucker for these. Now I really think it comes down to a texture thing. The way your teeth sinks into it. I also really like the chocolate on this one. Not a constant go-to snack. Definitely a 7.5. So keeping with the cakes, let's try this Topps Cherry Cake. I believe it got squatted a little bit in shipping, but you can see the chocolate and it had like a cherry filling down the center. The chocolate feels awesome. I say it's still gonna be great. Looks like a sponge cake with cherry. Pretty classic. Let's try it. Oh, there's a cream. They always get you with the cream. The chocolate they use here is almost like a ganache. It's really great where it's not like a solid chocolate. The sponge cake itself is a tad bit dry, but the chocolate really makes up for it. And that cream hits. Nice cherry flavor as well. I really like the chocolate on this one. The chocolate, the cream, I, I just really like this. Nine out of 10. Been loving this all so far. From cakes, we go cookies. Plasma cookies. They always look delicious, but the name kind of sounds scary. I'm going to be honest. If Alan loves them, I'm going to love them too. Let's check them out. This is like the classic flavor. Pretty standard looking biscuit. Almost like a butter biscuit, but I believe it's filled. Oh no, I thought it was filled. But hey, I bet it's still going to hit. It's kind of seeming like an arrow root. And I, I'm a bit of a sucker for an arrow root. Let's try it. So simple, not a whole lot of sweetness at all. A cookie like this, in milk, just that crunchy texture. Very, very arrowroot-like. Sometimes you just need a go-to standard, and this one's a good one. Ron's giving this one 7.5 out of 10. So chocolate and strawberry probably is gonna make this a whole lot better. But the same as the last, just enrobed in chocolate. So I don't know if it's just a strawberry flavoring, or this one's actually filled. For some reason, I keep thinking these are filled. Let's try it. Oh, not filled. I gotta see if there's a cream or it's just flavored in the chocolate. It's outstanding how that strawberry flavor is all in that chocolate. Really blown away by that. This one is solid. It adds the needed sweetness and the strawberry flavor. On point, man. Taking some of my favorite things. Crunchy biscuit, strawberry, chocolate, and probably a butt ton of sugar. You know, what I like. Rod's giving this one. 9 out of 10! Now he sent me a lot from this brand, so I think it might be big over there. Let's check it out! Keeping with the Euro theme, it's a Euro waffle! Oreo meets wafer. Let's do it! This is like double the size of our wafers. This thing's massive! Check out all the layers of cream. And our set are cookies and cream. Don't really seem to have like that dark Oreo look. He told me good things about this. Let's try it! This even looks straight up Oreo. Here's one thing about the Europeans. They know wafers. 
I love wafers. We get along quite well. Let's try it. Yo. Oh my god. Now there's a texture combination for you. The sweet cream starts with a crunch, your teeth just sinks into it, and you get quite a smack of the classic Oreo cookies and cream vibe. It's sweet, but it's not super sweet. This really lets a lot of the wafer still shine. Not too much of the dark cocoa. That is flavor town. If you love cookies and cream, check it out. Rod's giving this one 8.5 out of 10. It's the Euro Waffle Choco 4. It's like Kit Kat meets a Kinder Bueno. Let's check it out. Check it out. Pretty classic looking. It has an SL on it. I don't know if that just means like the hazelnut filling or the actual name is SL4. Could be a little bit wrong on this one, so don't troll me too bad. Keep it classy with the Kit Kat vibes. Europeans got wafers. Europeans know hazelnut. This basically should be a pretty awesome bar. Let's try it. No way. Picture the most outstanding Kit Kat you've ever had, besides like the crazy flavors. But honestly, it kind of sounds simple. Hazelnut, Kit Kat. This thing seriously hits. Just the chocolate is absolutely delicious. The small little snap from the wafer, the filling, it has it all, guys. This is one of the better chocolate bars I've ever had. Like, I'm not even kidding. Definitely a 9.5. Guys, solid. So last up, we have a spread on this spread. And we're about to get spread on this bread. It's Euro Cream. I believe it's a dual hazelnut spread. One in chocolate and one almost like the Kinder Bueno filling. Just hazelnut and like a milk cream, I think. Then just chocolate hazelnut. Soft bun, check. Start with the classic chocolate hazelnut. Oh, this seems thick, which probably means it's gonna be awesome. Classic chocolate hazelnut, nice bread. Let's try it. Mmm, it has a really nice chocolate taste and the sweetness level is pretty good. I enjoy the thicker texture, although it kind of tears the bread a little bit, but the hazelnut comes through and it's good chocolate. Mmm. That's good. On the piece too, and on the side too. This side seems a little bit softer. Sorry, I gotta. Okay, this is gonna be great. Definitely more like a milk cream with the hazelnut. Let's try it. It's like the inside of a bueno. No joking. Europe, you understand me sometimes with your flavors. Seriously, like, although it's sweet, yes. It's not pure sugar, like, it, it's flavorful. So now let's combine both sides. Dual cream action. Let's do it. Like, honestly, that is too good. Spreads are so dangerous. If you can get your hands on one of these dual hazelnut spreads, you're gonna want to do it. Ron's giving this one 9 out of 10. Great hazelnut tastes. Here you go, guys. The first look in the package sent to me by Alan. I got a feeling we're gonna have some great reviews coming up. You're gonna want to keep checking back. Alan, I loved trying things from your home country. So I sure about the apples. But it was all delicious, man. Seriously, thank you so much. For everyone else, be sure to drop back and check out all Alan's snacks. I know I will. Another quick round of reviews. And see you guys next time.